Hello friends, in this video we are going to see about data integration and what are the different techniques and the challenges we are going to face while performing the data integration. Data integration A data integration is the combination of a technical and a business process used to combine the data from the disparate source into the meaningful and a valuable information. The process of data integration is about taking the data from a many disparate sources and combining that data to provide the unified view of a data for a business intelligence. This is the diagram where you are performing the data source you are providing this data source to the environmental technical language, whatever the language you want, and then you go into the data warehousing. Data integration is needed when a business decides to implement a new application and migrate its data from the one legacy system into the new applications. It becomes even critical and important in a cases of company mergers where two companies merge and then need to consolidate their applications. One of the most commonly known use of data integration is a building a data warehouse for the enterprise which enables the business to have a unified view of their data for analyzing and the business intelligence needs. Some techniques for the data integrations are there are many sophisticated ways the unified view of a data can be created today. No more ETL is the only way to achieve the goal and that is a new level of complexity in the field of data integration. There are several organization level on which the data integration can be performed. So let's discuss in briefly. First is manual data integration. Technically speaking, this is really not a data integration. In this approach, the web-based user interface or an application is created for a user of a system to show them all the relevant information by accessing all the source system directly. There is no unification of a data in reality. Means you are giving a proper data and you just have to manually use it wherever you require. So there is no unification like this person can access only this, that personality is not there in the manual data integration. But next is middleware data integration. In this is, is essential a layer between the two disparate system allowing them to communicate. A middleware integration can act like a glue that holds together the multiple legacy applications and making seamless connectivity possible without requiring the two applications to communicate directly. That means it will be one of the glue. Glue means what? See, we having two objects, right? And the, both of the objects want to communicate access the same data. So middleware integration will perform the combination of it, but they will give you the access of those who want that data only. Other than that, no one can access it. That can be work, work with the data integration. Next is data virtualization integration approach, which is very current latest update. That is, a data virtualization allows us to leave the data in a source system while allowing to create a new set of unified values. This provides a way for a user to access the unified view of a disparate source system and data across the whole enterprises. A lot of organizations today prefer this approach because the benefits and the technology that exist today support this approach, which is virtual, right? And the main benefits of the virtual integration is the near real-time view of the data from the source system, it eliminates a need for a separate data store for the consolidated unified data. See, what is do where you are having a real-time view, right? But you are not actually accessing it. You are giving a virtual access to that system. 
so whenever you are working when whatever is get performed that is not happening on the actual data right next however that does not mean it is the best way to do the data integration although it certainly has a short term benefits there are some drawbacks for this approach that include a limited possibility of data history available or data version management or the extra load on the source system which involve may have an adverse effect on the performance of source system the data warehouse approach for the data integration this is the most commonly known approach of a data integration you may already know if you have read the role of kimmel or the bill in mom see what this approach does it requires the creation of new data warehouse which store the unified version of our data extracted from the all different different source system and manage the independent view of our original source system the benefits of this approach include the ability to easily manage the history of our data then ability to combine the data from a very disparate sources and to store them in a central repository of our data data integration challenges right we have seen the techniques four techniques for that but there are some challenges which we are going to face when we are working with a data integration so that is data integration is the process of identifying the ways to bring the data from the disparate sources and combining it into the unified view well that is a challenging task by itself from a technical standpoint a technical aspect of this implement implementation is the first level of challenge it is never easy to understand the data residing in a disparate sources and then designing a common structure to fit them all at a one place so what we can do dividing a bit deeper let's categorize the challenges and make a list of things to be considered as a challenge for any data integration projects some design challenges can be to have a good understanding of a data it is very important to have a person who understand the data assets of a enterprise and also the source of a system i would like to call them a data champion because who have the actual knowledge then only they can work on it right the data champion should be able to lead the discussion about the long term data integration goal in order to make it consistent and successful next is understanding of objective and the deliverables the next big thing is to have a good understanding of a business requirement that what is that business purpose behind the data integration initiative and understanding of the objectives and the deliverables for the project is a critical for the next steps then what are the source system do the source system have a data to support the business requirement what are the gaps between the data and requirement this question should be answered adequately third is analysis of the source system and the extraction which is also the main point for the data integration having a good understanding of option of extracting a data from the source system is critical to the overall success things like a frequency of extract extent of data extraction then quality of a data in a source system affect the timeline and overall direction of a project in addition it's important to know about the volume of a data extract to be able to plan the data integration approach along with the knowledge of a source system backup schedule any specific maintenance windows etc that may impact the data integration process so these are the some challenges which you are going to face while performing the data integration and as well as when you are working with some data integration techniques thank you